In this video, we're going to go over a little bit regarding 9 slicing in Unity. One thing that you're going to find is you're going to find that at some point you're going to have a background image that you're going to want to have scale depending on uh, how your game is played and how the user is interacting with it. But the thing is, is you might not be certain of the interface or UI size that your user is using. Screen resolutions can change depending on television size, monitor size, etc. So, nine slicing is a great way for a background element that you can go in and actually have Unity do some of the heavy lifting for you to keep it scaled and, you know, keep it so that it fills correctly in the backdrop. So, one of the first things I did here is I'm actually in GIMP to start out with. I decided to make a background graphic. So, this can be whatever you like. Um, this is going to, you know, I'm envisioning this is going to be some sort of top down, kind of almost like swimming through the water, you know, moving up through the level type background. Per common practice that I've talked about in other videos, first off, I'm going to want to do just a save as. Now, the thing is, though, is I want to go ahead and we're going to go to where I have the specific Unity project that I've made for this. So I do have a Unity project uh, that deals in working with the different, the different game options. And so that's going to be under 2D game demonstrations is what I called it. Now friendly reminder here, you do have the standard assets area that you can work in. I could even go so farther and do like create folder and I'm gonna call this maybe background folder and I'm going to call this game background working. Now just to show you I could hop into Unity, there's that background folder and now you can actually see my GIMP file. The other side of this though is remember you need to come back into GIMP and you want to do an export. Now a PNG is fine, also a JPEG. I'm not concerned about this being see-through or anything like that, but I'm just gonna go ahead, tell it to export as far as the file goes. GIMP is gonna think for a second. Okay, and here's my new working file. And actually, I could just come in here. I just clicked once, we're gonna get rid of that and just call it game background. And now that we've published it and we're back in Unity here, if you notice in the inspector, Unity immediately recognizes this as some form of 2D graphic. So with that, now we have to go through and actually set up as far as the specific sprite modes for this. It's not so much that we are creating a sprite sheet where we're going in the sprite editor and making tons of edits, but what we're doing here is we are using it so that we can actually do a nine slice. Now the first thing we're going to do is we want to set the mesh type. Instead of tight, we want to go into what is called the full rectangle. So that way then it's going to encompass the entirety of the graphic. Now anytime you make a change like this on the sprite mode, I just clicked away, it's going to ask, you know, you've made a change to your imported object, should we apply it? I'm going to tell it yes. So now it remembers the full rectangle option and we're going to go into Sprite Editor. This changes things as far as the Sprite Editor versus whenever we were working with the Sprite Editor to make slices for, say, a Sprite Sheet. Instead now what you're dealing with is the borders here, where you have left and right, top and bottom. These are measured in pixel values and you have a couple of options here. If you know the specific pixel value, you can just type these in. However, within the work environment, you may see several green boxes on all four sides here. These are your slice elements that you can come in and actually just click and drag to place as far as how you want the slice to occur. Now, just so you're aware, something I'm considering here with top and bottom is I may want to bring this up a little bit, just a hair, so that I can say, you know what, There we go. So if I do decide to put colliders in, I can do that. But now, some other things just to point out here. The pivot, I kept it in the center, which is fine. For something like this, for a, a straight backdrop, don't need to change that. 
and also too, we have normalized the unit mode so that it scales appropriately. Now once you make these changes here, or you make any edits, up in the upper left hand corner where you have your tab for the sprite editor, it's going to make a little star. You need to actually apply the changes, and now these have been stored and saved on your sprite. Now your sprite, whenever we expand out, has those specific elements associated with it, and I can now drag it into my scene, and I can scale it out accordingly. Now just a few other things whenever you're working in the draw mode and setting up your sprite for your scene, one thing that you can look at and work with is as far as some of the things like the draw modes. It now recognizes that this is a sliced sprite. So you can come in and you can either choose to slice as far as the width and height or in this case, we actually had a pretty good graphic, so it's not worried about doing that. Oftentimes what it'll do is it'll try to tile the center area for us here. We don't really have that problem with this one, so I can actually just leave it at simple. And now I can go ahead and preview. And when I'm ready to publish my game, what will happen is, is no matter as far as the size goes, this background will scale accordingly as far as the size of the screen opening and resolution. So that's one of the big benefits of nine scaling whenever you're working with background graphics in Unity. This can make your life a heck of a lot easier as far as level design goes, backdrop design goes, but also too, it can make things much more tied together as far as getting that background taken care of and not having to stress about different screen resolutions.